This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, before we hit the water, let's just spend like 30 seconds on um, bucktail types, because I notice on successive videos, I'm using different bucktails, and there's a reason for it, and I'd like to explain exactly what that is. Okay, here we have two ounce and a half fixed hook bucktails. In fact, they're both S and S Skinner fixed hook bucktails, and they're entirely different. These these are completely different lures. Um, in this case, if I'm fishing over rocky areas or situations where I, I want to glide the bucktail uh, over structure, um, the difference between this one and this one is look at the bulk here. It's got a lot more hair. It's got hackle feathers cinched to the hook, which fills out. The middle of the bucktail. Um, this one will not cast as far as this, um, but I can swim it over structure and it puts out a really nice big profile. Now in the video I'm going to show here, I'm fishing a lot of current. I need to get down fast. That's where this head style is going to get to the bottom faster than this head style. And although there's plenty of hair on this jig, this is actually um, a, a fluke jig, but it makes a great striper jig. Um, this guy is going to cut that current faster than this one. So it's a matter of you know what you're trying to achieve and choosing uh, which bucktail in order to meet the objective. Nice first cast of the morning. I know, it's maybe 12 feet of water out there. When that jig hits, I'm just going to let it settle. I'm not reeling except to pick up the slack from the wind, from the belly and the line. I'll just maintain contact and Boy, set on the tap. Thick in there. Alright, so I'm not going to bounce bottom here, but when I feel bottom taps, I'm trying to glide it along the bottom. When I feel a bottom tap, that's, you know, that's where you're going to see me make those lifts. I'm just trying to keep it up off the bottom. It's a big difference between a bottom tap and a fish tap if you watch that rod tip. Uh, and this is Long Island, New York. I always forget to say where I am, which didn't used to be an issue, but I've got southern followers now. And yeah, it makes no sense when I'm catching snook and redfish and then I'm doing this. So, Long Island. Wow, so it looks to me I'm casting down current, and I am not. I never do that. It's a, it's an illusion here. I'm casting slightly up current. You know, it's all about conserving energy for these fish. In this heavy current, they have to be near the bottom. 
use the irregular bottom structure to break the current. That's why I'm looking to just swim that jig about a foot off the bottom in that strike zone. People often ask about the retrieve in these situations. Forget about the retrieve. It's the objective of swimming that jig a foot off the bottom or so. Hey, if I feel some bottom taps and I'm trying to stay off the bottom, I'm going to take a couple of cranks. But as that jig slides farther down current, it's going to lift up and I'm not going to be retrieving at all. So there's no fixed steady retrieve here. Yeah, this one's definitely in that 28 to 35 inch slot that we could keep. Um, but I, I rather eat food, so I'll let these guys go. So this little delay that you're not seeing after I uh, unhook a fish is I'm just straightening out that bucktail, make sure the hair's in the right place, strips okay, make sure it looks good for the next cast. All right, a smaller one, but I'm going to get some bigger ones here. And hey, you know, it's always great to see a nice mix of sizes. Little ones, big ones in the middle. All of that is good a sign of a healthy fishery. So the longest I've gone without a, a fish, I'll still get him. short on the cast there. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, the reaction is I have totally slack line. I've uh, been cut off or something's wrong. Oh, that could be a blue fish. Alright, well, what can I can do about that?
And that explains getting cut off in the previous cast. Yeah, still dealing with a recent uh, asthmatic reaction to a cat. Yep, they, they get me. This is relatively long. Oh, oh, there you go. All right, another bluefish. All right, it's an insane bite. Just keeps going and going here. Um, I haven't had a cast or out of fish except the one that cut me off. Uh, all right, so here comes the biggest one of the morning. I'm going to leave you with that. Um, hope you liked this video. If you did, please do the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check out my online courses, saltstrong.com slash skinner. A long time. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Ooh. If it's not a no, this is gonna be a decent bass.
Look how fat, sick.